Ready to enjoy a decathlon between the new Hugging Chat bot and Chat GPT Model 4? Then stay with me, because I'm going to evaluate which one is better at generating ideas, writing articles, summaries, grading, creating recipes, stories, titles, and much more. And I'll keep score to see who is really the best. Aloha, my friends. I'm David Tatera, and I teach AI to businesses. Today, I'm going to put the brand new Hugging Face chat bot called Hugging Chat to the test and run it through a bunch of the most common things that people do with AI chatbots to see how it compares to ChatGPT Model 4. But first, a little background on Hugging Chat. Now, Hugging Chat is an open source alternative to ChatGPT 4. Both systems seem to only know about events that are pre-2021, with the key difference, outside of the fact that one's open source, being their data set. ChatGPT runs on OpenAI's GPT-4 data set, which is a blend of public and third-party data with a total of 100 trillion parameters. Hugging Chat is using Open Assistant Conversations dataset. However, this dataset is only 65 billion parameters and it was crowdsourced by 13,000 volunteers. Still, both chatbots were trained using the same methodology and show some definite similarities. Because of the small dataset, Hugging Chat tends to have more of a bias and a lot more hallucinations. Now, just to be clear, Hugging Chat is calling this version 0.0. .0. That's how new and immature this is, which makes it even more remarkable of an achievement for such a desperately needed project. Nonetheless, I still wanted to compare the two head to head and see what we have. It's a little like comparing Napster to Tower Records in early 2000. Like the investment and development was miles apart, but you could see the potential to disrupt. Well, let's get started. Before launching into our first task, I wanted to know how much data each of them could handle. So I asked, ChatGPT version 4 can handle 4,000 tokens, which is approximately 2,500 words. While Hugging Chat seems to think that it has no limits, which I think is a hallucination, but I couldn't find the exact number anywhere. If you know this, please leave it in the comments down below and let me know. For the first challenge, I told each bot, I want to write a blog post about large language models in AI. Can you suggest 10 ideas? I was looking to see how creative each would be with their list. Each model completed this test and both did pretty well. Hugging Chat gave me suggestions like democratizing NLP, the evolution of large language models, and applications of LLMs, which was a solid list. Unfortunately, Hugging Chat wasn't actually able to complete all 10 and quit at nine. Even if I asked it to continue, instead it just gave me some unrelated information about blog posts in general. GPT-4 was able to give me a full list of 10 suggestions. It gave me ideas like impact of LLMs on jobs, the role of open source, and LLMs in creativity. Also a solid list. Both gave me ethical concerns. So I decided to use that for our next challenge, and I scored them each a point since both gave me really solid directions. Next, I decided to pull up this article and see how good they were at summarizing. This was mostly about following directions, so I asked each bot to give me a 500 word long summary to be used for writing a blog post. First, I gave it to Hugging Chat, and instead of summarizing the article, it summarized the cookie policy. Then it completely ignored the rest of the text. But when I gave the same prompt to ChatGPT, I got a well thought out 500 word long list of everything important from that article. This one was an easy choice, point to chat GPT. Then I asked them to give me 10 creative clickable titles for an article about what was just summarized. This was a challenge to evaluate their understanding of emotion in language. GPT did great as always. The dark side of LLM, unraveling the AI enigma, the ethical minefield. Since Hugging Chat had been unable to summarize the article, I fed it the summary from ChatGPT, and it gave me a solid list as well. How LLMs threaten society, the looming job apocalypse, another reason to worry. Both bots completed this challenge with quality responses, so I'm giving each a point. Next, I went big and asked each model to write a 1200 word long blog article in full markup language, H tags, bullet points, using a specific focus key phrase and basing it on the summary ChatGPT just wrote. By the way, if you want to learn more about the prompts I use for this, go to 7minuteblog.com. I teach a masterclass on how to write an original, well-researched and formatted blog post in under seven minutes. And I'll even give you my prompt building tool. 
If you ever need to make a blog post, you don't want to miss this, especially since I'm sharing it for free right now. The blog writing assignment was designed to test and see how their coding skills are and their ability to format text. First, I ran it through Hugging Chat, and I was impressed. It started out a little cheesy with a welcome readers, but then it came on strong by creating this table. Unfortunately, it ran out of tokens and couldn't complete the work. And when I tried using the continue command, it failed again. On the other hand, GPT crushed this assignment as always. This prop produced a well-written, formatted article with links and everything. When the article ran out of tokens, I typed continue and on it went until the post was complete. I was impressed with the table and formatting that Hugging Chat used. While it wasn't able to finish the post, which seems like a current limitation, what it gave me was solid. So I'm gonna give them each a point. Before I share my next request for the bots, I have a quick request for you. If you've made it this far, then you got some value out of my work. So please show your appreciation by clicking on the like button. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, hammer that subscribe, it's only gonna get better. Okay, so continuing my blog theme, next I ask them each to write a mid-journey prompt that would create a unique, compelling hero image for the article that they just wrote. I wanted to see if they were able to cater their style to a specific platform. Now, both managed to write something related to the blog post, which was a positive, but neither was anywhere near a mid-journey prompt. Hugging Chat gave me a few quotes, so I let it know that this was not a mid-journey prompt, and I explained what mid-journey was, but still no luck, just quotes. I was surprised and disappointed that GPT whiffed on this one too. In the past, it's given me great mid-journey prompt, and I'm sure with some work, I probably could have gotten it to give me one. However, I was testing the bot's ability to understand a command, and GPT usually gets this. I also tried giving it a little extra guidance, but when GPT did not seem to get my request, I decided to try out what they gave me. So I put what GPT had written into mid-journey, and got something that actually turned out pretty cool. The Hugging Chat prompt just created a robot AI image with nothing specific related to LLM ethics. So I gave the point to GPT, even though I kind of felt like neither really deserved it. Next, I asked our bots to generate a Facebook post based on the blog post that they had just written. I wanted to see if they understood how to structure a social media post. Hugging Chat gave me a solid response as far as information, but didn't do any formatting or anything creative to give it a Facebook style. GPT, on the other hand, definitely gave me a social media style. It gave me a little call out for the link, some hashtags, got a little overboard with the emojis, but clearly it gave it a much more Facebook look. So the point, once again, goes to GPT. Next, I targeted the AI's ability to understand story structure. I gave them each the prompt to write a short story, 500 words, about a rabbit for a kindergarten reading lab. Now, Hugging Chat gave me this story about Snowflake, who got tricked while playing hide and seek. It was a complete story with a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it was at an appropriate reading lab. However, when I ran it through the word counter, it was only 206 words long way short of the 500 I requested. Then I hit up GBT with the same request and got this story about a brown rabbit named Remy and his search for the most delicious carrots in the meadow. This story had multiple characters, a more complex plot, and much deeper descriptions of the environment. It also came in at 415 words, which is much closer to the original request of 500. Both AIs performed admirably on this task, but GBT clearly wrote the better story, so I have to get the point to GBT. Next, I wanted to see how good the AIs were at evaluating and grading work. So I asked them each to grade the stories that they had just written. Now, Hugging Chat gave their own story a seven out of 10, pointing out the easy to follow plot, but suggested it could have been improved with a more descriptive elements and better language, which was pretty similar to actually my assessment of the story. When it came to the story by ChatGPT, Hugging Chat gave it an eight out of 10, but listed no reasoning or suggestions for improvement. Then I asked GPT to evaluate the Hugging Chat story, and it scored it a seven and a half, pointing out the value of the lesson in the story, but offering some room for improvement with more complex sentence structure and language. As far as its own story, GPT gave it a nine out of 10 with all positive accolades and no suggestions for improvement. Both bots completed their evaluations and made good suggestions to improve the lower quality story written by Hugging Chat, while neither made suggestions to improve the story from ChatGPT. So I scored this one a tie and gave them each point. Next, they decided to see how well each bot could do at matching up specific inputs. I gave them each a list of ingredients, eggs, onions, carrots, and rice, 
then asked them to create a recipe. GPT handed me a well-formatted and detailed recipe for fried rice. When given the same prompt, Hugging Chat also picked fried rice and gave me an equally detailed, high-quality recipe. There was virtually no difference between the two outputs. So I scored them each a point. For the last event, I wanted to test their ability to customize a response to my specific inputs. So I told each bot that I like to go to the gym for 90 minutes, three times a week, and I wanted to add muscle and lose fat. Then I asked it to create a workout plan for next week. GPT gave me a complete three-day weight routine. However, I can tell you from experience that this is really about a 45 minute workout. It did, however, suggest some things like stretching and sleep, which it thought might be helpful add-ons. Hugging Chat also gave me a complete routine. And while it didn't format the response nearly as well, it actually did a much better job of meeting the goal of a 90 minute workout by including some cardio and stretching in each day. So for the workout plan, I'm gonna give the point to Hugging Chat. The final score of the Chat Cathalon is Hugging Chat 5, GPT 9. Chat GPT wins! No surprise that in the end, GPT won. I mean, come on, it's the behemoth. It's got way more funding. It's been out way longer, and it's got a massive data set by comparison. I was, however, surprised how well Hugging Chat kept up. For a version 0.0, .0 model, trained on a volunteer data set, it did an amazing job. It was clearly weaker at evaluating the text inputs, and it needs a system to continue a prompt. But for an open source beginning, I would give that five stars. I expect to see a lot of improvement from Hugging Chat this year, and probably a big upgrade for the Open Assistant dataset. The exposure of this project should give it a lot more for them to work with. While these are two of the biggest chat programs out there right now, there are tons of other ones, some really interesting ones, including one called Tavern AI that lets you chat with stormtroopers, vampires, Disney characters, as well as some adult anime characters. It's super easy to set up, totally free. If you wanna check out a fully safe for work video on this, just click up here.